Welcome back. We are here on Etro looking at uh, ETFs, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, uh, April 9, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new, newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon if you want to get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So, We'll start by looking at the uh, ARK Innovations. And uh, as you can see, we have basically rallied quite a bit, but we are running into a resistant here where we basically have found resistant basically in the past. So we can basically write something similar to this. So there is a territory here, which um, this ETF has had problems, has basically been running into resistance every single time we have basically entered this uh, territory and has basically broken down. So if you manage to rally above this, uh, we could head towards the 50 at 133, break above the 50, get open the door to the 150. Uh, uh, so this is an ETF that has basically was doing really, really well uh, for the last few days, years. Uh, got all the way up to 159 and then just completely fell apart, lost roughly uh, one third of its value and then rallied, fell back and now it looks like we are rallying yet again. So if we manage to break above this and the 50 moving average, then we could go higher. Otherwise, if a rejection here could lead this back towards 110. Technical indicators are all bullish at this current stage. So let's look at the DVI. So DVI has uh, pulled back a little bit. We are uh, we basically were fairly overstretched uh, on the edge of being overbought as well. Technical indicators are all turning uh, to the downside. Uh, we have pulled back, but uh, we are just trading just about the uh, middle of the bullish band. So fairly hopeless to say where we are going at this point. Break uh, below the bottom of the bullish band opens the door to the 20 exponential at 113 and the bottom of the bullish band at 112. So it's just a waiting game for this uh, ETF. So let's look at uh, VTI. Vanguard. So we are getting fairly overstretched and we have basically have been the last four trading days. Technical indicators are still very bullish. We could see this go a little bit higher, but we are basically at the top of the range. And usually when we're at the top of the range, we either fall towards the middle or the very bottom. And this current stage, we are just a pullback that it is needed in order to do go higher. So pullback towards the middle here at the bullish band, 100, 207, or even the bottom at the 201 before going higher. So let's look at uh, MCHI. So we have gapped higher and then gave some of those gains back. So at this current date, we're trading just underneath the 20 exponential or basically at the middle of the bullish band. Technical indicators are fairly mixed. RSI is flat. CCI is uh, becoming bullish. RSI is stochastic is flat and the MACD is negative toward there, but we are above the signal line. So we have fallen all the way down to the 200 moving average, rallied, broke down again, and now we're rallying yet again. So it is also very difficult to say where we're going. If we manage to break above the 20 exponential, we could head towards the 50 here at the 87. If we break down from here, then the, certainly the 200 moving average will offer a massive amount of support. So let's look at IVV. So we are getting really overstretched here. So we have been rallying from the 50 moving average all the way up to 409. We are on the edge of being overbought at the, uh, we are at 69 at this point. Technical indicators are very bullish, but a pullback uh, towards, give or take 400, that should be expected before going all the way up towards 425. So we are in a massive uptrend. Pullback is basically needed at this point. As we can see, every single time we have basically uh, got it outside of the bullish band or basically been uh, at the top for a very uh, some amount of time we basically snap towards the bottom or the middle so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at patreon the link is down below good luck and thank you very much